Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll show you how to use Audacity for rap. If you're creating an online radio show, podcast, radio imaging, or simply want to make your voice sound different, you must get hold of my Audacity presets. Head over to mrc.fm forward slash presets. Go and get them now at mrc.fm forward slash presets. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. It sound right, boy. Now, I'm not going to win any awards for rapping, but I will show you some tips to make your rap vocals sound better. Here's a music bed that I'm going to be using, and it's from our production libraries. Just go to mrc.fm forward slash sfx to grab it for yourself. First thing I'll do is go to tracks, add new stereo track, and this is the track I'll record my rap vocals on. Let's hit record and do it. You know I'm going to drop a beat. This ain't no incredible feat. For I got production power. We can do it in the hour. Okay, like I say, no awards here, but we're working on making these vocals sound better. Let's listen to what we laid down. You know I'm going to drop the feet. This ain't no incredible feat. For I got production power. We can do it in the hour. Okay, so you want to beef that up and make it sound better. Let's select those vocals. We'll go to effect and we'll go to filter curve EQ to start with. We'll start with a flat line here and we're going to drag up some of the high end. Let's preview it. You know I'm going to drop the beat. Okay, you got that nice crispiness. Let's pull that down a little bit. You know I'm going to drop the beat. And then I'm going to go ahead and roll off some of the low end like this. So I'm just putting on a little filter here to make this really crisp. You know I'm going to drop the beat. We might want to back that off a bit just to keep those vocals nice and full if we can. You know I'm going to drop the beat. Let's pull it back a little bit more and a little bit more and boost up some of the low end bass here and preview that. You know I'm going to drop the beat. Okay, that's got a cool rap no. sound to it now, so let's click OK. Let's go into Effect and Compressor to really compress these vocals. Everything can be believed just like this. Minus 20, 3 to 1 ratio, 0.1 for the attack time and 1 second for the release time. So everything can be left just like that. Click OK. Let's play back. You know I'm going to drop the beat. This ain't no incredible beat. Now you can probably hear there's just a tiny bit of echo there as I recorded. I picked up a little bit of the rap track as I was recording. You know I'm going to drop the beat. Trying to sync that up this nicely. No incredible beat. For I got production power. We can do it in the hour. So we're starting to get like a bit of a rap sound just using a bit of EQ and compression. I'm also going to want to go ahead and limit this so it doesn't go too loud. And that's under the limiter effect here. And we'll make this minus one. OK, minus one, the high hard limit should be the type. Click OK. And that's going to stop any erroneous clips that we got there. And next, I might go ahead and add on something like a little bit of echo. This can help time delay we might say well for a 100 bpm track what is the uh sort of bpm that i want to sync to there so we'll use uh you can use either a bpm calculator or you can just do it in your head if you know what it is uh, but for me i'm just dragging up a website that tells me how many bpm and how many seconds that is so we're using 100 bpm here and that's going to be around about 0 0.4 so let's preview that now you know i'm going to you know drop this, this ain't no incredible, 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 incredible. incredible. So that might be slightly off so we probably need to change the decay factor so it's not so much you know i'm going to drop the beat. and maybe make that 0 0.1 let's preview that you know i'm going to drop the beat this ain't no incredible feat. So you can hear the echo going on in the background. We can click OK to that. And just a few effects there. Probably we could fine dial that echo a little bit better. But so far, what we've done is we've gone ahead and add some EQ. We've enhanced the highs, rolled off the bass, boosted a little bit of the low end that's left. Then we compressed, we limited, and we added some echo. But remember to grab yourself a BPM calculator Check the BPM of the track you're working to. So 100 BPM there. Uh, you can type in the correct figure for your echo so it syncs up with the beat perfectly. And that is the start of creating rap in Audacity. Did I do a terrible job or did you pick something up from this? Let me know in the comments down below. Check out my Audacity Ultimate Course for Beginners. If you are a podcaster, YouTuber, voiceover artist or audio editor, you need this course. 
head over to mrc.fm slash audacity. That is mrc.fm slash audacity. Music Radio Creative.com